Hey, my name is Seb, and we are back again with more amazing mods for Armory Forger. Now, since my last video, the game has been growing a lot and is looking better than ever. Every month the player base is increasing and more awesome mods are appearing on the workshop. So today we're gonna go and check out some of the best community mods I could find. We're gonna be looking at new game modes, new tools, vehicles and some new terrain. So stay tuned because these mods are truly excellent. Also, if you want to keep informed with everything Armor Reforger and the Armor platform, consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. Now let's just go straight into the first mod, which is Ascendancy by Sierra Golf. Sierra Golf is a team that focuses on adding the British Armed Forces into Armory Forger. The mod we're looking at today is specifically for air assets. So when Armory Forger released into 1.0, they added helicopters and because of that we're now seeing more and more helicopters being added to the workshop. Ascendancy is one of the better ones I've tried so far and with the mod you gain access to the Puma HC2 and the AW159 Wildcat AH1. The real life Wildcat performs a range of roles on the battlefield including reconnaissance, transportation of troops and supplies, command and control and force protection. In this mod there is a transport version of the helicopter and a cargo version. The transport can carry a five man team and the cargo variant can carry one extra man in addition to the pilot and co-pilot. The Puma SH330 HC2 is a medium support helicopter that can carry a 12 man team and supplies. So if you're into UK milsim and have a gen or just have a general interest in the British Armed Forces, I strongly recommend checking out Sierra Golf and their mods. You can find the mod and the creators in the description below. Now let's move on to the next mod which is really creative and that is Overthrow by Aaron Static. Overthrow is a dynamic single player or co-op campaign where the mission is to overthrow the oppressor. This mod is in early access but has already a ton of amazing features. You basically start off with nothing in a small town and fight your way to remove the occupying forces on the map, gaining support from the civilians as you progress. When you start overthrow you start with a sum of cash and a pistol. You can use the money to buy items, you can also open the menu by hitting U on the PC or by holding down the D-pad on your controller. There you will see most of the main features of overthrow. It can remind you a bit of Antistasi, it has a lot of unique flavors flavor to it that makes it great. Overthrow offers a saving and loading, a wanted system like the one you can see in GTA, a support system where certain actions will raise or lower support in different towns across the map, and an economy. More support from the civilians equals more money. The overthrow economy comes with shops that can sell you legal items and there's black market dealers that can sell you things you need to overthrow the enemy, so not so legal stuff. There is even building and fast travel from bases and bus stops. You can earn money by doing jobs from the U menu, steal stuff or sell items and even deal, yes, deal drugs to civilians, yes you can actually do that. The game mode is one of the cooler ones available and I believe it will catch on and be quite popular with the community going forward. Definitely a mod worth checking out. Another mod you should check out is Odin Game Master Editions by Crowded Light. If you ever found the Game Master in Armory Forger a little bit lacking, you should consider this mod from Crowded Light. This mod brings extra tools and quality of life improvements to the Game Master module, thus making scenario creation a little bit easier for you. With this mod you can enable damage by toggling it on and off in the attributes of each unit. So now you can make your character immortal, therefore avoiding getting killed and having to reset your radios each time. It adds a stance attribute for the AI so you can control the AI stance. And the mod even adds uh, more attributes for waypoints like formation option and a complete completion radius attribute. It also adds a cycle waypoint option that we're familiar with from Armor 3 meaning you can repeat patterns for the AI like patrols. You can also toggle the visibility for each individual unit. All great features that the vanilla Game Master should have had. Another great addition is the teleport function. You can move squad members to their team. Just right click to quickly teleport a player to their destination. I think this mod is a must have if you play a lot of Game Master with your group or so I would recommend you check it out, all the details are down below in the description. Now let's move over to some terrain. First I want to highlight Gogland by Tempa. Gogland is a 12 by 12 kilometer island created by Tempa. 
Tampa is a very well-known terrain maker in Armor 3 and his track record features things like Kajari, Ruha, Anisai and many many more. This marks his first of hopefully many terrains he will create for Armory Forger. What makes this map interesting in my opinion is the way he uses his style to create ravines and points of interest. All the towns and areas of course have impossible Finnish names that I can't pronounce but I like the way he gives it a slightly Nordic feeling with rocky and hilly terrain with plenty of lakes and settlements and of course many dead trees and pines, very Nordic indeed. From a Nordic terrain to a much warmer climate, we're finally gonna take a look at Kunar province by Kiok Milsim. This terrain is based on the very much real Kunar province of Afghanistan. I haven't highlighted this map before because it didn't feel complete, but now it's in a state that I feel like it's natural to bring it up. And having a Middle Eastern terrain is a very welcome addition to Armory Forger. The map is fairly big and uses a lot of different assets to achieve the desired effect. Many of the buildings are strikingly familiar to Armor 2 Takistan assets. Uh, Kunar province has large valleys, uh, arid villages, small river streams and mountains with forests and snow. Very much a diverse Middle Eastern landscape. If you are familiar with the documentary Restrepo, which I highly recommend you watch by the way, you can actually find the firebase here in the Korongal Valley alongside other noteworthy places. It is currently playable with Game Master. Check out this terrain, add some helicopter mods and some modern equipment and this will be a great playground for both Milsim groups or any other casual scenario. From something uh, serious to something not very serious, uh, we have Bond action animations by the Bond Bond. Now this mod is more on the silly side of armor and it adds a bunch of military gestures, diverse animations and some idle motions for the characters. They're all accessible via radial menu and you just choose the ones that you want. This is what I used to make that really dumb armory forger dancing video uh, a while back. So if you want to add more silliness to the next gameplay session with your buddies, you should consider checking out Bond action animations. Next up is a more realistic AI with the mod CRX Infusion AI by Atim. According to the creator, the main target of CRX is to create a high fidelity responsive and challenging AI. Of course, a vanilla Armory Forger AI is not the smartest one out there, but this mod makes it so that the AI is capable of operating by using their environment and their current combat situation. CRX has been created to improve AI behavior and AI combat operations. The overall result of the adjustments made with CRX is that the AI is much more aware of everything going on around them, making them much more of a threat. Improvements include better use of cover, more dynamic stance system and improved investigation behavior, just to name a few things. Many of us in the armor community can agree that of all of the things we want most from Reforger, better AI and better AI behavior is on top of the list. So this mod is a welcome addition. And next up, we have another tool for Game Master, namely Game Master FX by Bacon8008. This mod adds elements as explosions, fire, parachute flares and smoke effects to the Game Master. Currently holds, as I'm making this video, and I'm going to quote from the page here, four explosion effects, seven smoke effects, three fire effects, two parachute flare effects, and many more things. Having more effects to play around with and use in the Game Master is important and it really helps create a more fun session for everyone involved. The more tools we have available, the better, and the Game Master FX gives us just that. This is a good pairing with the previously mentioned Wooding Game Master tool, and these two together I think really helps bring the Game Master mode to a much better state. I want to take a minute to honorably mention a few other mods that didn't make it to this list but has had major improvements since my last video. And that is Worthy Islands by Chewy, as well as RHS Status Quo by RHS Studios. Now that wraps up my showcase of these amazing mods for Armory Forger. Did I leave out some of your favorite mods? And if I did, leave a comment and we can check them out in the next video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for each mod if you want to test them out by yourself. Again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You can subscribe or become a member by using the links in the description. You know what to do. And thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. From me to you, stay safe.